Now let's talk about the main nerve of the back of your forearm. So the posterior interosseous is your sole nerve, main nerve of the back of the forearm. The posterior interosseous nerve arises as the deep branch of the radial nerve. If you remember in the cubital fossa, so you know that origin is in the cubital fossa. The course of this nerve is quite simple. The nerve basically arises in the cubital fossa and then through the supinator muscle, the supinator muscle, through the substance of supinator muscle, it penetrates it and passes from anterior part to the posterior part of your forearm to enter your back of the forearm through the supinator muscle. That is very important. And in your back of the forearm, the artery runs between the superficial and the deep muscles. These are the deep muscles and the super between them. It runs accompanied by the posterior interosseous artery. If you remember, posterior interosseous artery was a branch of the common interosseous artery, which was a branch of the ulnar artery. And between the superficial and deep muscles. And finally, it enters the extensor retinaculum. If you guys remember, in the fourth compartment of the extensor retinaculum, it enters where it becomes a pseudoganglion and it gives its branches to give supply to the hand. So what are the branches? Let's talk about the branches of the posterior interosseous nerve. The posterior interosseous nerve firstly gives branches, muscular branches to, now this starts with before piercing the supinator, before supinator, during the supinator, and after it emerges from the supinator. That's of significance. So before it pierces the supinator, it gives branch to the extensor pollicis brevis and the supinator. While it's in the supinator, it gives a branch to the supinator. And when it emerges from the supinator, it gives a branch to the extensor digitorum, to the extensor digiti minimi, and the extensor carpi ulnaris. Apart from this, these were short branches. It also gives some long branches which are two in number these long branches are lateral and medial basically the posterior interosseous nerve has to supply all the muscles of the back of the forearm so it gives lateral and medial branch the lateral branch is responsible for supplying the abductor pollicis longus the anterior boundary and extensor pollicis brevis which basically both were forming if you remember the anatomical snuff box anterior boundary along with being the most lateral compartment tendons of the extensor retinaculum and the medial branch will supply the ones that are left the extensor pollicis longus and the extensor indices apart from this it gives a couple of articular branches to the wrist joint to the distal radio ulnar joint and finally some sensory branches given to the interosseous membrane the radius and ulna so that's all you need to know about the posterior interosseous nerve thank you so much for watching